another episode of Unhighlight. The Sanjay Gandhi National Park gets 800 acres, which is 200 acres more than the previous allotment from the RA colony. The government has left us at the mercy of big corporations. Is the general sentiment of farmers all around India who are protesting the three bills which were passed in Parliament last week. Property rates soar in Ayodhya after the Ram Temple Bhumi Puja. The army is getting ready for winter in eastern Ladakh. This is said to be the biggest operation in decades of stocking supplies. The Bihar election dates have been announced. This will be conducted in three phases. The first phase on the 28th of October, the second on the 3rd of November, and the third and final phase on the 7th of November 2020. Today we will quickly take a look at what a win it has been for environmentalists in Maharashtra with the allocation of 800 acres to the Sanjay Gandhi National Park. But before we get to it, here's a quick reminder about TNS and where we stand on citizens journalism. We believe it's the only way forward for our voices to be heard. So if you have something to report, be it good, be it bad, whatever it is, but you think the world needs to know, do send it in in the email mentioned below. Now, back to our main unhighlight of the day. The Sanjay Gandhi National Park has been shrinking over the years due to encroachment, but now it has been allocated 800 acres for its expansion. This move has been celebrated by nature lovers from all parts of the country. The Sanjay Gandhi National Park is one of the only national parks in the world to be situated in the middle of a bustling metro. Not only that, at one point, the park was also had the densest population of leopards in the world. Unfortunately, due to human-animal conflict, it now is the home to only 40 leopards. Confirming the development of SGNP, Director Malikarjun said that the land will first be taken over from RA by the Revenue Department and then declared a reserve forest. The previous government, led by Devendra Fadnavis, was hell-bent on building a metro car shed and had ordered cutting of trees at night because of the large protests that were happening all across the city by citizens who were against it. In contrast to the Fadnavis government, the Udav Thakre-led MBA is pushing for relocation of the car shed and preservation of RA forest. Now, in these dark times, news like this is like music to, to the ear. Mumbai as a city cannot afford to lose any more of its green cover. The SNGP and RA is equivalent to the Amazons for the city. So my question for the viewers is a little different this time. I'd like to ask you, how many of you were for the metro car shed being built in RA? And now, what is your reaction to the recent news, to the recent developments that are happening? There are no wrong or right answers. We would love to hear from you in our comment section below. That's all for today. Do not forget to share, like and subscribe. And I will see you same place, same time tomorrow.